Hey there, thanks for tuning in. It's Alicia and Alicia of Rockside Family Dental Care. And today you're gonna to be telling me about the benefits of fluoride. So we've all been to the dentist and we've all had, um, you know, the fluoride put on our teeth, but maybe you don't know why, why they're putting that on there. So that's what you're here to tell us about Alicia. So I'll go ahead and just turn it right over to you. Thank you. So scientifically, people don't really know what fluoride is or there's a lot of controversy around it or has been in the past, but it's pretty much just fluorine, which is an element on the periodic table with a negatively charged ion, which makes it fluoride. So in the mouth, when fluoride combines with calcium and phosphate, it actually makes that outer layer of your teeth extra strong, so your enamel. So that's what cavities start to get into. That's what sensitivity irritates is the enamel. So when we make a stronger enamel, we are less likely to get cavities. We can kind of remineralize any cavity that's starting and we can prevent sensitivity to the hot, cold, sweets, those little zings that you feel, things like that. So fluoride can be found in tap water, especially bottled water. It's not as known. So we're not too sure about what types of tap or bottled water have fluoride in them. So stick with the tap water if you're looking for extra fluoride. It can be found in different foods. It can be found in toothpaste and mouthwashes. So if you're unsure of if it's in your toothpaste or mouthwash, just look in the back there. It'll be in the ingredients label. Um, so for the fluoride varnish that we use in the office, it's 5% sodium fluoride. So it's a little higher percentage than what you'd get in a toothpaste or mouth rinse or things like that. Um, it's just a sticky goo we put on your teeth. It's clear, so you can't really see it's on there. I apply it with a little paintbrush, I always say, and it's done within 30 seconds and it just leaves a coating on your teeth. So there are other forms of this higher percentage fluoride. It can be found in like mouth rinses in the office as well as like foam trays that you would bite on. But we like this one because it stays in your oral cavity for longer. So we say we like to leave it on the teeth for up to six hours, don't brush it off. And you have that fluoride enacting in your teeth for longer than that because it'll be in your mouth. So it's great. Awesome. Well, I mean, you made it sound pretty easy. Thank you so much for just telling us a little bit about, you know, what it's doing and a little bit of the scientific background even. And I'm glad that you kind of addressed, you know, that some toothpastes and mouthwash and stuff have fluoride in them as well. Cause I, I was going to ask about that. Do you recommend that people look for toothpaste and mouthwash that has fluoride or is it best just, you know, use whatever you like and then make sure you're getting those fluoride treatments at the dentist? So I always say fluoride is great to be used every single day. So I, I personally believe that toothpaste and mouthwashes should have it in just because when you're coming to the dentist, say twice a year and you're getting this topical fluoride on your teeth, you want to make sure you're still having it throughout the year. So I always recommend at least once a day, if you have a favorite that you like that doesn't have fluoride in it, add in a mouthwash that has fluoride in it or something so you get that extra protection on your teeth. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for answering that question. And if you're interested in learning more, make sure that you check out the rest of our blog videos on rocksidefamilydentalcare.com. There's going to be um, way more topics than just fluoride that you're going to find on there. So make sure you're checking those out. And if you're ready to schedule your next appointment with the team, make sure that you're getting in contact. Thanks for watching.